Hi everybody, welcome to our channel. This is Out of Order Living. I'm Jody, And I'm Kristen. And we live in this trailer part-time. We live around the world part-time. And we live in our house part-time. <laughs> we have a 2021 Lance 2445. And today we want to give you a tour. All right, this is our trailer. It is a four-seater trailer, which is great because we can camp all year round. Super helpful. We're gonna start right here on the side. We do have a battery compartment here. There is one on the other side, which is super convenient. Our version did come with solar on the side. I actually think this might be standard in all plants. So if you had a portable solar system, you can just plug it in here. We did upgrade to solar, so we no longer need that. One of our favorite storage compartments ever is this one here. It has a huge pull-out slide as well as a table that fits in here. One thing that you must notice is that this cover, every cover has a magnet that holds it up. So you can lift it up and be done. Okay, moving up closer to the door, we do have the safety step stairs which fold up and store outside of the camper. Super helpful so we're not bringing dirty stairs into our camper. I do think this is an upgrade. We will go inside in a little bit, but our camper did come with a keyless entry. At first we didn't think we needed this. I was paranoid thinking the battery's gonna run out. The bat We've had it for a year, the battery has never run out. And now the kids can get in, we can get in, and we don't have to worry about keys. It's wonderful. This is the compartment that you would have if you have an outdoor kitchen. We actually did have an outdoor kitchen and we modified it and took it out so that we could store our black stuff. We have a video that you can see the modifications we did make. Plenty of room. It does have a water line if you do have that outdoor kitchen. Super helpful to have everything out here when you need it. Okay, moving to the back. We have this large access door. Super helpful. We actually use it for storage underneath uh, our skateboards and all of our supplies when we arrive at camp we have in a bin. The nice thing is, is it folds up and you can actually store bikes in there if you wanted it as a back access garage, essentially. So we've got the standard bumper for your clean out. Um, easy access, we do have three tanks. So we have a black water tank that's 45 gallons and two gray water tanks that are 45 gallons each. So we can stay at camp for a long time before needing to dump. We do have our black water washout and it has a spinner in there. So when you hook up to the dump station, it will agitate the tank, um, which has been super helpful. Um, from the electrical side, obviously it's a 30 amp. Um, we do have outlets for a satellite and cable TV at a campsite, I guess, if you get there. Freshwater tank. We do have an outdoor shower, which has been super convenient. This is another side cabinet. We love outside storage. You can never have enough of it. So this one is actually really big. We're able to fit our camp chairs and our propane, propane fire pit. Uh, which fit, fits in there nicely, a fishing pole, an umbrella, we fit it all. Here's our second battery compartment that I mentioned earlier. We do have a generator compartment. We actually put solar up above, so we use this to store our solar batteries. Super great, we did fit a generator in there before we had our solar solution. We do have the smart jack, super helpful for automatically going up and down um, when we're arriving at camp. We do have the Pro Pride Hitch. We upgraded this. Um, we will do a review on that one day and show you all about that. Um, one nice thing that this has, it has the three propane tanks. Super helpful to be able to switch automatically and get you through longer pulls without having to refill. In addition to the propane is we have two access points where we can grab the propane, A, to run our fire pit, and B, for our blackstone. Super handy. One thing we do love is our awning. It is an automatic awning, so we can control that to come out automatically and retract back in. Super helpful. Time to go inside. Come on in. Welcome inside. So uh, in the 2445, as soon as you walk into the door, you have your two full-size bunk beds here, which we absolutely love. Uh, we have an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old, and it's, it's perfect space for them. And I can see them grow into it even as teens. Um, in this camper as a whole, you're going to see lots of mods that we have made, and so I'm putting together a video of uh, RV modifications that you can make too. Um, so as soon as you walk in, there is actually uh, uh, 
hooks here for your keys. Um, there's a little cubby for your phone. Um, there is a, a plug-in um, right at the right of the door. And then um, on this side, as you can see, you have the ladder that goes up to the top bunk. And on the bunks, they actually have a mesh pocket. They have a USB port. They have a regular plug and a 12 volt plug as well. So you have like, some different options for uh, whatever your hookups look like. Underneath here is tons of storage. Uh, this goes all the way back to that garage space in the back where that door is. And we fill this up with all kinds of, of resources that we need. One thing I super love about our trailer is that it has the in-command system. I can run everything. I can see my fresh water, uh, gray waters, black water levels. I can uh, pull in my awning. I can put up and down my jacks. I can pull in and out of my slide. Um, I can turn on my HVAC, all from my in-command center. But the other cool thing I love about this is that it connects to my phone. So I have been in bed, it's freezing at night and I need to kind of up the temperature. I can do that from my covers underneath my bed. I really, really love that. In this camper, it also is equipped with an AC unit and the AC unit, um, we only have one. I do not see why you would have two. It cools the whole thing down. My only problem is it's pretty loud. Right past the bunks is the uh, bathroom which I absolutely love. There's a couple of things that are really awesome about this bathroom. One, above the shower is the skylight. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a, a bigger feel when you're standing in there. As we know, sometimes RV showers can feel pretty small. The shower curtain, it is actually a curved and, and dome like runner. So it, it also makes that shower area feel a lot better than kind of that straight cut. And then the really awesome thing about ours is that we have the instant hot water heater. So we don't have it, a hot water tank. Um, it's on demand. So that has been super awesome uh, with, you know, not having to worry about like winterizing something like that. The other cool thing about it is the toilet is actually raised. And so it is kind of at the, the perfect height uh, so that you're not like getting super low to like an RV toilet and it kind of increases the surface area so it, it's angled and allows for for a lot more leg room in the bathroom when you're in there um sometimes there's like two of us in there at the same time like brushing our teeth and getting ready inside the vanity underneath the sink there's tons of storage and great room uh, we live in this uh, part-time, so you can see like we have tons of stuff in here. Uh, but it's got really, really great storage options on, on both of those areas. The fixtures and all the little details that they put into this bathroom, it's nicer than, than uh, even my house bathroom. In the kitchen area, um, we have the fridge and then the dinette, so I'm just going to show you a little bit about this. Um, but the fridge is not a 12 volt fridge, so you do have to be plugged in in order to use the, um, the electric part of it, but it is propane, so it's dual. So when we are boondocking or without hookups, it can go to the propane, and then if we're plugged into shore power, um, it can actually use um, shore power. And it stays really cold. Uh, we've we've uh, filled this for you know four or five meals at a time, which is pretty awesome. Um, I what what I really love is I love the shelves on the door, and then it having the um, uh, vegetable drawers uh, help a ton. So having those that space is really wonderful as well. On the dinette, um, there is again plug USB. 12 volt and then uh, it also has amazing drawers for storage. These things pull all the way out and I can put in um, all our pots and pans and, and uh, even my Instapot fits inside there. Uh, you do have to be careful. You don't want to overload them or put too much weight because it is attached to the slide and if you start doing that you can kind of mess up your slide. This does turn into a bed. Um, sometimes we use it and turn it into a bed for like a cozy night and watch a movie. Um, and we've, we've slept uh, others on it as well. 
um, but that is an option for it. We did make a lot of modifications to the window coverings in this RV, and again, um, you can see that video on modifications we've made. The other really neat thing about this dinette area is actually the lighting. Um, it comes on a dimmer switch here, so it, it can get uh, brighter, less bright. Um, which I really love in the morning. So if the kids aren't quite awake, we can dim that and have like kind of a light um, in the morning. In the kitchen area, um, there is kind of a corner kitchen. So so when you walk in the front door, you walk into the kitchen this way. And so this is kind of nice. You can see out these windows and your kids playing outside. Um, it comes with these um, two cutting boards on each side. So you can actually increase this uh, counter space. We keep just one of them on for the counter space and we, we took the other one out. Um, over here is a trash can and the trash can has again a cover on it so that you can increase that counter space. We use it more for storage since we kind of like a bigger trash can area. The sink area is probably one of my favorite parts of the kitchen. Um, with this removed here, um, you have a massive sink to do dishes and it's really, really deep. Uh, the nozzle um, pulls off and you can switch from like a flow to like a spray nozzle and then move it all around to do your dishes. It's a fantastic workspace. Tons of storage underneath. Because it's a corner sink, you get like nice corner space underneath uh, with two shelves that have so much room in them. Um, one of my favorite areas in here is this cabinet here. Um, inside, you have uh, two shelves. We are able to put all of our dishes, bowls, all of that fits up there. And then you see the, the lighting that opens up with that cabinet. Um, you have a microwave. Um, again, that was something that I didn't realize I really wanted in a camper until I have one. And again, it is not 12 volt, works on short power, um, not when you're on propane alone. Um, the stove is a three burner stove, and again, it has this cover on it so that you can increase uh, the counter space. So this cover can fold up, and then you have um, your burners, and then when you want it just to like put dishes to dry or whatever, you can fold that down and have that counter space. I love my oven. Uh, again, I've made a couple modifications here so that it doesn't burn things. Um, but this oven is fantastic and I have made like enchiladas inside my camper. Uh, over here you have your, um, uh, it's actually a pantry and it has multiple shelves that go super deep. My only qualm is that it's sometimes hard to see in the back so I might like put together some like cap lights um, at the top of the shelf so I can see a little bit better inside there. And then again you have this drawer here that has tons of space for all the utensils. Um, again, we made some modifications so that we can keep some other things um, in this working working space. The lighting in the kitchen is also wonderful. You have not only the soffit light, um, but you also have uh, the, so this is the soffit lighting here, and then you have the sink lighting um, as well. So, so tons of nice um, lighting space in this area. Over here, the other drawers that they have is there are three drawers um, that go down the side of the, the counter here and they have tons of space as well. Uh, we really have all the space we need for, for any kitchen supplies with the dinette and with what the kitchen area has. Right across from the dinette is our entertainment area. Um, we have a, a TV up here that is also connected um, to the Jensen stereo and they are both 12 volts so they can run right off of the battery. The TV actually um, slides out and swivels so you can kind of move it around to where you're watching it um, and then latch it back in on a travel day. It's connected to the Jensen radio which is also a DVD player so you can play uh, movies here and there are speakers in, in this living area in the bedroom and then you can get a Bluetooth for outside as well. Um, that all runs from the Jensen system. Um, underneath there is the USB. You have a regular plug, AC, AC plug, and then you have your 12 volt plug underneath there as well. And then connections for, for satellite and, and that sort of stuff. But by far, our favorite thing about this space is this fireplace.
your place. Um, I laughed at him when I first saw him, but we use it all of the time. Uh, it is actually a space heater, and it uh, provides amazing heat output when you're connected to shore power. So this is a great way to save on propane um, if you're just trying to warm up the area. Uh, but it is, we use it, like I said, always. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. Down below that is a very small, awkward drawer, which is fine. We put all of our games and stuff in there. It's perfect to fit like cards. In the bedroom, you actually have a full queen. So it is not a RV queen, it is a full queen. And on each side are these small um, closet spaces. Uh, tons of storage. Again, you need some modifications to use that storage um, the best. There's these long shelves that go all the way back like these nightstands. And on this side of the bed, uh, there is a light switch that turns on um, kind of bedside lamps as well as bed light side lamps on this side as well. Um, you have speakers on both sides that is run by the, the Jensen. And then underneath these nightstands are drawer spaces a lot of storage as well. Above the bed, you have this beautiful window that expands out. Um, you have a shade that is a darkening shade, and then you have a bug shade that comes down as well, so you can open that and get some really amazing air that flows through. Underneath the bed is a ton of storage. Um, we actually are able to put a part of our, our inverter is there for our solar power, which does not come with the camper. We put that in. It has two paddle boards, it has our life jackets, tons of room, even with inverter under there. This is a great storage space. When you enter into the bedroom, um, you actually have a sliding door that gives you your own space, which was really important to us when we were looking for an RV that we were gonna live in part-time, is that we could block off and have our own like quiet space. Next to the door, there is a full closet, and in the closet, there is a rod, um, shelving, and we have made some modifications again inside that closet to make it a really workable space, but tons of storage again in that area. Next to the door in the bedroom, we have our own entertainment center. Again, I have loved this. We have been able to shut the door and we bought a DVD player for this and we can watch our own movies in here and just get a little quiet space, um, which is really important when you're living 24 seven together. Uh, it has a corner, it's like a corner um, entertainment center and there's tons of storage in both of these closets. Um, this is where I keep all of our kids' cool school supply stuff and it's all Jody's office supplies and, and some more school supplies but it's a wonderful, wonderful storage space again. Okay, so that is our camper. And, and I, I kind of wanted to just talk a little bit about kind of why we chose the lands and a little bit about lands is uh, we really were, what mattered to us was kind of quality um, of the craftsmanship of the trailer. That was really important to us. You're literally driving down the road and it's like an earthquake in here and inevitably things are gonna break in, in trailers. And so um, it wasn't that we were afraid of something breaking, but we were really looking for just like a really high quality trailer. And we found that in Lance. Yeah, I think Lance uses solid wood and the workmanship is awesome. I think one thing we did not mention in the tour is that it is a four season. And that was super important to us. We do live in Colorado. We sometimes wake up to snow or want the ability to go camp in snow. Um, and so that was super important to us. Yeah, some of our best camping that we do is on the shoulders. So we do like fall and spring and, and sometimes you run into um, the, the snowstorms. As far as things, there, there are obviously things in this camper that were a little wonky to us that we just didn't like, that we modified, that we changed. But overall, um, we've had an incredible experience. We've had no issues thus far. We've owned it for over a year and we have taken, taken it all over the country in that year. We've lived in it in the last year. We've lived in it um, almost six months. So that's quite a long time if you're thinking about whether you're getting it for a weekend or long term, whatever. Uh, it's, it's fared uh, well. It's fared really well. Yeah, I'd say 
next to no repairs we've had to do. We've always had to do little tweaks here and there, um, which is normal, regardless of what manufacturer you have for your yeah, camper. Yeah, it's little things that we have had to adjust or fix or, or modify. Um, but this has been a fantastic trailer to us. We have loved the Lance. We have loved the craftsmanship. We would buy one. We would buy another one. I think it comes also down to the little details, right? The black tank um, washout, super easy. Lots of backup place things in place there, um, and winterizing. Winterizing. It, we we did it all by ourselves, and it was like that. Yeah, within five minutes we can have it winterized or unwinterized. Um, so it's good to go. It's really ease of use beyond just using it, but also from a maintenance perspective. So I hope you really enjoyed our tour. Um, we, you know, we are living in this full time, so obviously uh, there's some things that your camper probably won't need. Um, and if you do want to see some of the modifications uh, that we have made, I'm working on that video so that you can kind of see what cool modifications we've made to our 2445. But I really hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you have any questions that we didn't cover, please comment below and we will respond. Make sure you subscribe; it helps others find us as well. Thank you. 